Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to use the inventory manager inside of Jungle Scout to make sure that you never run out of stock again. This tool allows you to automate your Amazon inventory planning by accurately predicting how much stock you should order and the best dates to order it to help you boost sales and avoid fees. So let's get started. To access, come over to inventory on the left. First, I'll give you an overview of what you see here. Then I'll talk you through how to set this up. So the big thing that you want to keep an eye on is your inventory status. These are the different statuses to expect. Number one, in stock. This is if the days remaining is greater than the lead time plus seven days. Order soon. This is if the days remaining is greater than the lead time, but not more than seven days. This gives you a seven day buffer so that you have up to a week to plan your order before you have exceeded the lead time and the status will change to order now. But don't worry, right next to it is the date to reorder. So this will tell you when you need to place this reorder. This is to make sure that you don't run out of stock. So all you need to do is keep an eye on this date to reorder and then the inventory status will give you a reminder if that's coming up within seven days. Or if that date is passed, it will become a red order now. Which brings us to our next status, order now, which is if the days remaining is less than or equal to zero. This means that you will likely run out of stock. So it's really urgent that you order now in order to stop the future bleeding. At this point, you've already started cutting into your lead time because your lead time is greater than your days remaining. And then finally, we have overstock. This is if the days remaining is 150% of reorder days of supply. Inventory Manager will tell you exactly how many you need to reorder, how much that reorder will cost you, and it also tells you your reorder days of supply, meaning that's how long you want to remain in stock. Lastly is Inventory Level, which tells you how much stock you currently have. Now let me back up and tell you how to set this up. The places to set this up are in product settings and product costs. Now this does mean that you will need to have your Amazon account synced with Jungle Scout in order for us to pull information about your product. So if you haven't done that already, then you need to come up to settings and then come over to Amazon settings and then come down to add new in order to sync your account. Once you've done that, your products will appear within my products and you have the ability to enter in product costs. So let's use our jungle sticks as an example. I'm gonna open this one up. If you haven't added a cost before, you'd either add cost, or if you've got one existing that's up to date, I'd come over to edit. You wanna make sure that you have your cost of goods per unit, as well as the supplier's shipping cost. That gives you your total cost per unit down here. Now let's head over to product settings, where we can add in the lead time and reorder days of supply for our product. Product lead time refers to the time that it takes from the moment you place an order with your supplier until Amazon has received your product and it's available for sale on the website. So you need to consider everything that happens between these two points. This includes production time, inspections, shipping time, customs and clearance, domestic transit to and from a prep center and into Amazon's warehouses and any of Amazon's receiving time. This receiving time could also include Amazon transferring your stock between different fulfillment centers, which can be fairly common. Also note that receiving time is much longer around the end of the year during the holiday period. So it's a good idea to update your lead time accordingly throughout the year. Once you've calculated this, we then recommend adding in a few extra days just as a buffer. So for example, let's say that it takes 60 days lead time for our jungle sticks from the time that we order until it reaches Amazon's warehouse and is available for sale on the website. Then the reorder days of supply refers to how long do you wanna be in stock after that inventory arrives. Typically you want your reorder days of supply to be longer than your product lead time, ideally at least a month or more. So I'd say I'd want a minimum of 90 days in this case. That means if we're going to be in stock for another 90 days, we've got 90 days worth of stock that has arrived but it takes 60 days to get a new order. That means we're only gonna be in stock for about a month or 30 days until we need to place a new order so that we don't run out of inventory. 
That's why you want your reorder days of a supply to be longer than your lead time. Okay, now we'll go back to Inventory Manager. So now what we're gonna do is take a look at our jungle sticks. But first I'm gonna let you know that you can change the number of days of sales history that you're looking at. So I'll explain why that's important in a minute. So if we open up our dog pads, you'll see our status is set to order now, meaning that we need to place a new order ASAP. Next to this, we see the date that we need to reorder by. If we don't reorder by this date, then we run the risk of running out of stock. This date is based off of our sales history. And so that date will change depending on this one here. So if I change this to 15 days, you'll see that the date has changed again. So up here, you can change it to whichever date you like, and it will make calculations based off of the average sales within that period. Okay, so in what instances would you change the sales history date range and what range would you choose? Well, keep in mind that you're buying for the future, but the calculations made here are based off of your historical sales. So shorter timeframes like 15 or 30 days will give you an accurate picture of your current sales and is a good way to pick up on any short-term trends. A good example of this might be that you're leading into or you're in the Q4 holiday season and your sales are starting to pick up. And so you wanna make sure that you make a new order based off of your current sales velocity within that short period of time. Longer periods like 60, 90 or 120 days will average out your sales more across these periods, smoothing out these short-term sales spikes that might occur from time to time. So you wanna make sure that you're selecting the appropriate time frame for the period that you're buying for. And you can actually see all of that here. So here you can see our average sales in the last 15 days, in the last 30 days, and so on. And so that's how these dates to reorder are calculated, as well as the rate order quantity. Now, what is all this information at the top here? Well, when we do need to reorder, this is how much that reorder is gonna cost us, which might sound like a lot, but, but this is in fact a really profitable product, uh, which you can actually see here. This is the amount of profit that we will generate from this reorder. And to put that into perspective, you can actually come over here and see the ROI or the return on investment. Now over here, you get this really neat graph. So these bars here are showing you how your inventory levels have changed on a daily basis. So you can see exactly how they've changed as sales have come in. So that's really helpful. I know I've covered a lot there, the important thing is to not get overwhelmed and just to get some information into Jungle Scout. These are the key things to do. Make sure you enter in your product costs, your product lead time, and your product reorder days of supply. Make sure to enter those three items and that will get you started within Inventory Manager. Remember, you can always adjust these numbers in the future. If you don't know your exact lead time, look at the last time that you placed an order with your supplier see what date that was that you ordered, and then see what was the date that your inventory arrived at Amazon or that it was received there, figure out how long that was, and then I'd suggest adding one or even two weeks to that to give it some buffer room. And then for your reorder days of supply, I would recommend adding at least another 30 days on top of the lead time number. As I mentioned, you can come back in and change any of these numbers at any time, but just make sure to go through the process initially and add these in to begin with. And that's how you use the Inventory Manager. I hope this tutorial has helped you get started using it so that you can better calculate your Amazon inventory needs. Now go ahead and try this out for yourself by clicking the link down in the description to sign up for Jungle Scout. Did you know that Jungle Scout offers way more tools than just Inventory Manager? And that all the tutorials are located right here in this playlist? Make sure you check out the next video on how to use our Jungle Scout tools.